Hi and welcome back to the beginners A to Z of radio control planes. In this video we cover C is for clevis. So clevises are connections that connect push rods, this white rod here, to control horns such as these on the control surface or onto servo arms which is directly connected onto the servo. The clevis itself has got two arms, one there and one there, and a pin. And it's this pin that essentially acts as a pivot for the control horn or the servo arm. So clevises like this type here can be screwed on, screwed off. There's a threaded type. Other clevises must be soldered in place. The benefit, I guess, of the threaded type is that it allows you to adjust the connection and get the control surfaces in their neutral position. To connect the clevis to either the horn or the servo arm, you need to gently spread apart the two arms. And I use a flathead screwdriver to do this. Like so. And then the arm can be attached over it and the whole thing snaps shut. And there you can see it pivoting nicely on the pin. A locking device should be used to hold it shut so that it can't reopen. Uh, the most common way of doing this is to use a small piece of fuel tubing, which I've attached here. And you slide it over the arms once the clevis has been closed. And there it is in place. Some clevises come with a separate locking clip that hooks over the pins to secure the link in place. Clevises themselves come in a variety of sizes to suit their end application and can be made from either steel or nylon. These ones are steel and this is an example of the nylon top. Both types are very reliable but care must be taken to ensure that they're always in good condition. Check them regularly to ensure that they are still correctly attached and haven't become damaged, worn or seized at the pin. It should move freely around the pin. It's far cheaper to replace a damaged clevis than it is to replace a crashed plane. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next in the series. Cheerio!